Okay, Wildcats, today we're going to conquer division, polynomial division. Warm up. Determine each quotient. 9x divided by 3x. 9x divided by 3x is equal to 3. Now, 4x squared divided by 2x can be written as, well, first of all, 4 divided by 2 is 2. X squared is X times X divided by X. Now, anything divided by itself is 1. So then that equals 2X. Now, X cubed divided by X is written as X times X times X divided by X. Anything divided by itself is 1, so that's 1. So that equals X squared. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Getting started. X minus R factor. You have analyzed the graphs of a polynomial to determine the type, location of zeros. How can you determine the factors of a polynomial given its algebraic expression and one of its factors? 1. Analyze the graph of the function h of x equals x cubed plus 12x squared plus 41x plus 72. 1a. Describe the key characteristics of h of x. The function h of x is an odd degree function, therefore as the input values approach positive infinity, the output values approach positive infinity. And as the input values approach negative infinity, the output values approach negative infinity. That is x-intercept at negative 8, 0 and y-intercept at 0, 72. 1b. Describe the number and type of zeros of h of x. The function h of x equals x cubed plus 12x squared plus 41x plus 72 is a cubic function. The function has three zeros. There is one real zero and two imaginary zeros. The factor theorem states that a polynomial function p of x has x minus r as a factor if and only if the value of the function at r is zero or p of r equals zero. Let's take a look at the next page. You can use the factor theorem to show that a linear expression is a factor of a polynomial. Okay, you can go and read over the worked example on your own. Let's take a look at number two. Consider d of x equals x plus 8 and d of x times q of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 24. Solve the equation. So basically what we need to do is basically factor this. We already have x plus 8. We know times something is going to equal x squared plus 5x minus 24. Now we need to figure out what number is multiplied to give you negative 24 combined to be 5. Since we already have 8, we need to figure out what 8 times what gives you negative 24. The answer to that is negative 3. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. So we have our negative 24 and 5. So we have 8 and negative 3. So this is x minus 3. So q of x equals x minus 3. All right, go ahead and finish it up. Let's take a look at the next example. Gives you 2.1. Polynomial long division. To solve 0 equals x cubed plus 12x squared plus 41x plus 72, you need to factor the polynomial and use the zero product property to determine its zeros. The fundamental theorem of algebra states that every polynomial equation of degrees n must have n roots. This means that every polynomial can be written as a product of n factors of the form ax plus b. For example, 2x squared minus 3x minus 9 equals 2x plus 3 times x minus 3. If 2 is a factor of 24, then 24 can be divided by 2 without a remainder. In the same way, the factors of the polynomial are divided into the polynomial without a remainder. Polynomial long division is an algorithm for dividing one polynomial by another of equal or lesser degree. The process is similar to integer long division. Go ahead and look over the worked example on your own. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Number one, analyze the worked example that shows integer long division and polynomial long division. So we have x squared plus 12x squared plus 41x plus 72 divided by x plus 8. First off, we have to make sure we have the degrees in order, 3, 2, x constant. We're good. So now let's divide. Now we ask ourselves, what do you multiply x by to give you x cubed? The answer to that is x squared. Make sure the x squareds are lined up, the x's are lined up, and the constants are lined up. Now x squared times x is, I'm sorry, x squared times x plus 8 is x cubed plus 8x squared. Now we subtract. 
cancels. 12x squared minus 8x squared is 4x squared. Go ahead and bring down the plus 41x. Okay, now we ask yourself, what do you multiply x by to give you 4x squared? The answer to that is plus 4x. So now 4x times x plus 8 is 4x squared plus 32x. And we subtract. Cancels. 41x minus 32x is 9x plus 72. Now we ask yourself, what do we multiply x by to give you 9x? The answer to that is plus 9. And now we multiply. 9 times x plus 8 is 9x plus 72. We subtract, subtract. Remainder is 0. All right, go ahead and finish up number 1. All right, number 2. The expression x minus 7 is a factor of x cubed minus 10x squared plus 11x plus 70. Solve 0 equals x cubed minus 10x squared plus 11x plus 70 over the set of complex numbers. Okay, so again we make sure we have 3, 2x constant and we're good. So now we ask yourself, what do you multiply x by to give you x cubed? The answer to that is x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 7 is minus 7x squared. And then we subtract. When you subtract a negative, it becomes positive. Cancels. You get negative 3x squared. Let's go ahead and bring down the plus 11x. Now you ask yourself, what do you multiply x by to give you negative 3x squared? The answer to that is minus 3x. Negative 3x times x minus 7 is negative 3x squared plus 21x. We subtract. It becomes positive. Cancels. 11x minus 21x is negative 10x plus 70. So now you ask yourself, what do you multiply x by to give you negative 10x? The answer to that is minus 10. Multiply negative 10 times x minus 7 is negative 10x plus 70. Subtract, that becomes positive, and the remainder is 0. That verifies that x minus 7 is a factor of x cubed minus 10x squared plus 11x plus 70. All right, go ahead and finish it up. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Work the example. Go ahead and read over that on your own. Let's take a look at number three. Determine the quotient of 2x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 19x squared plus 21x plus 42 divided by x squared plus 3x plus x. Again, we want to make sure we have 4, 3, 2, x constant, so we're good. Now, we ask ourselves, what do you multiply x squared to give you 2x to the fourth? The answer to that is 2x squared. And then we multiply 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times 3x is 6x cubed. 2x squared times 6 is 12x squared. Now we subtract. Cancel, cancel. 19x squared minus 12x squared is 7x squared. Let's go ahead and bring down the 21x and the plus 42. Now you ask yourself, what do you multiply x squared by to give you 7x squared? The answer to that is 7. So plus 7. 7 times x squared is 7x squared. 7 times 3x is 14x. Oh, I'm sorry, 21x. Seven times six is forty-two. So we subtract, subtract, subtract. Remainder is zero. All right, go ahead and finish up number three. Let's take a look at the next example. 52.2, factoring special binomials. Recall that you can use a difference of squares to factor binomial of the form a squared minus b squared. The polynomial a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. And the sum and difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. And a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Use the difference of squares to factor each binomial over the set of real numbers. Factor x cubed minus 8. So that means that a 
is x, b is 2. So now we plug these numbers into this formula. So then that's x minus 2 times x squared plus x times 2 plus 2 squared. which equals x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. All right, go ahead and finish up 2a. All right, let's go ahead and factor 2b. So a equals x, b equals 2, and we're going to plug these into this formula. So that's x plus 2 times x squared minus x times 2 plus 2 squared. So that's x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Go ahead and finish up 2b. All right, let's take a look at the next page. You can rewrite the expression x cubed minus 27 as x cubed minus 3 cubed and x cubed plus 27 as x cubed plus 3 cubed. When you factor sums and difference of cubes, there is a special factoring formula you can use, which is similar to the difference of squares for quadratics. To determine the formula for the difference of cubes, generalize the difference of cubes as a cubed minus b cubed. Go ahead and look over the worked example. The teacher will explain 3a, 3b, 5a, 5b, 5c, and 5d on the next page. Use property of equality to determine the one zero, then factor each polynomial function over the set of real numbers. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Factor f of x equals x cubed minus 27. So, A equals X. Now, to find out what number cubed gives us 27, let's just go through all the cubes. So I'm going to go to Desmos, and I'm going to do 1 cubed, 2 cubed. I'm going to keep going until I get 27. Ah, 3 cubed is 27, so that means B equals 3. So we plug these into this formula. And there's a slight mistake on this I need to fix. Uh, let's rewrite it underneath. It's a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. All right. So then that's x minus 3 times x squared plus x times 3 plus 3 squared, which equals x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. All right, go ahead and finish up 3a. All right, let's take a look at 3b. x cubed plus 27 with the sum of cubes. So, a is x. We already looked at from the previous problem. B is 3. So we plug these into this formula. So that's x plus 3 times x squared plus x times 3 plus 3 oh, minus squared. So then that's x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. All right, go ahead and finish up 3b. All right, let's take a look at 5a. Factor x cubed plus 125. So we know that a equals x, b equals, let's just go back to our cubes. So 4 cubed, 5 cubed, is 125. 
So B equals 5. So we plug these into the formula. So then that's x plus 5 times x squared minus x times 5 plus 5 squared. So that equals x plus 5 times x squared minus 5x plus 25. All right, put this up. Let's take a look at the next. All right, so here a equals 2x and b equals 1. And we're going to plug these numbers into here. So that's 2x minus 1 times 2x squared plus 2x times 1 plus 1 squared, which equals 2x minus 1 times 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. Go ahead and finish it up. Let's take a look at next. Now, you guys know what cube gives you x to the 6? The answer to that is x squared. And then we already know that b would equal 2. So we plug these into here. So x squared minus 2 times x squared squared plus x squared times 2 plus 2 squared. So that's x squared minus 2 times x to the 4th plus 2x squared plus 4. All right, last one. Factor x to the 9th plus y to the 9th. Well, we ask ourselves what cube gives us that? Well, a equals x cubed and b equals y cubed. So we plug this into here. So that's x cubed plus y cubed times x cubed squared plus x cubed times y cubed plus y cubed squared. So that equals x cubed plus y cubed times x to the sixth plus x cubed y cubed plus y to the sixth. Go ahead and finish it up, and have a wonderful Wildcat day.